Before I start this video, I need y'all to smash that like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. The goal is to make the channel full time, which means a lot more fight analysis. Fight fam and all Box of Gems members and patrons. Much love. You already know what it is. Class and session. Sugar Ray Leonard, the 1976 gold medal Olympian, five weight division, three weight lineal, undisputed welterweight champion. Leonard finished his career with 36 wins, with 25 wins coming by way of knockout, with three losses and one draw. As one part of the Four Kings, Leonard fought and beat Roberto Duran, Tommy Hearns, and Marvin Hagler. Duran also fought and beat the highly talented Wilfredo Benitez for his first belt at welterweight at 23 years old. Leonard embodied the unique combination of high-level skill, grit, all-time athleticism, and showmanship. Leonard's athletic game was still based off fundamentals with a very quick and beautiful jab. Leonard threw every variation of the jab, including the up jab and the flick jab, but his bread and butter was a stiff, quick, accurate jab off the back foot, often stepping to his left. Believe it or not, 15 rounds. Fearsome looking man. No. With the jab established, Leonard also used a probing or throwaway jab to set up his powerful backhand. For his orthodox opponents, it was often an overhand Leonard chose to throw. Whether the jab disrupted the guard, enticed the counter jab, or the opponent fought with the low lead hand, Leonard's backhand would punish them over the shoulder. Against Southpaws, Leonard properly changed the overhand into a line cross, but he was also one of the only fighters that could get away with inside foot positioning in the open stands consistently. Turning defense into offense was Leonard's bread and butter. Leonard was an elite counterpuncher at one of the best step back, pull, or reverse shuffle counter games in boxing. The reverse shuffle or back springboard step and pull with the upper torso put his weight on the back foot so he can evade then spring off into a quick jab or loaded counter punch. Leonard was also great at slip countering jabs. After anticipating or baiting the jab, Leonard often used B to C slot slips to either side, throwing the opposite hand for a quick scoring blow or throwing the loaded punch from the side that he slipped towards. Leonard also countered the jab off the backhand catch or parry. With the parry hand or the backhand, it would be difficult to catch or parry a jab, then immediately counter with the same hand, and it would likely be an arm punch. So to land a more effective backhand, Leonard threw a probing or throwaway lead hand first, making his opponents commit to a defensive maneuver, then he came over the top with a more powerful backhand. Whether leading, countering, or ending a combination, Leonard simply had one of the welterweight division's all-time left-hand hooks. Quick, powerful, and accurate.
Leonard had some of the quickest feet and footwork in boxing, so lateral movement was a staple in his game. Defensively, the lateral movement frustrates opponents and forces them to chase Leonard, testing their ability to cut off the ring. For instance, Nomaz first Duran was really due to lateral movement and Duran's frustration that he couldn't set his feet having to chase Leonard down. However, turning defense into offense was Leonard's bread and butter, so he would use lateral movement to set traps. After Leonard created distance, he could stop where he wanted and quickly set his feet. When his opponent caught up, they were often in range still trying to get set. So Leonard would attack during the vulnerable moment with a single punch or a combination. Then he would find the escape route or smother and clinch, then start all over again with the lateral movement. Touched on a bit earlier was Leonard's ability to catch and parry the counter. When he's just trying to be defensive, Leonard's spectacular hand-eye coordination allowed him to catch, parry, and deflect punches with ease. It's almost like he agreed to play a game of patty cake with his opposition. Then combined with the upper torso movement and quick feet, Leonard could seem untouchable at times. Sugar Ray Leonard was also a savage. Combination punching was a big part of his game, but also when it came time in a fight to dig deep or fight out a tough spot, Leonard was all too willing to let his hands go. This is when the all-time athleticism kicked into overdrive and he would voluntarily enter into 50-50 exchanges to come out on top the vast majority of the time due to his all-time elite hand speed. Sugar Ray Leonard, all-time great.